up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Owl of Armor DLC video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a little bit of stuff that is in the files of the Pokemon Sword and Shield Owl of Armor DLC. Now, again, spoiler warning to anyone who may not want to be spoiled on the next DLC. The Crown Tundra because data miners have dug in the files and found a little bit of stuff that are not available as of yet inside of the Isle of Armor DLC and it's basically going to be for the Crown Tundra DLC. Now again this stuff is kind of in the spoiler territory because we are talking about player names, we are talking about models that haven't been revealed by the Pokemon company as of yet. But again, it's still cool to talk about because, yo, we get a little glimpse in of what potentially may be down the line for the Crown Tundra DLC. And boy, you're going to want to know. So again, if you don't want to be spoiled, peace. i see you guys on the next one. But if you're along for the ride, let's jump in. This is coming from Matt. I'm probably saying that wrong on Twitter. I'm going to have the Twitter linked in the description below. But he found some leftovers from the Crown Tundra inside of the Owl of Armor DLC. Particularly, he found these three guys. He found, I'm gonna try to pronounce it as best as I can, Vinci? Vinci is just, uh, it looks like an old man dressed up very warmly. He got the boots, he got the jacket. Most identifiable thing on him may be the glasses. As you can see, got the turtleneck got the gloves again dressed up for that cold weather inside of the crown tundra and then we got a character that we were introduced already via the last pokemon trailer or basically the um, dlc direct that we got from pokemon earlier i believe like a week or two ago and again this is penny and as you can see the full model of Penny isn't available in the Isle of Armor DLC, but it is hidden in the files, and you can get to see a better look of Penny. Again, all decked out, ready for that winter cold inside of the Crown Tundra. You do get a closer look of that hat, which may be a Pokemon. Everyone is trying to say that it may be a Pokemon. To me, from the concept art of him, it looks like a P. It looks like a P, you know, maybe drawn or edited in a way that it, it, it's not a new Pokemon. But I could be wrong. I, that 100% that could be a brand new Pokemon. And again, something we don't know. Labeled Adventurer. Um, Penny was labeled Adventurer. And Adventurer F, basically Adventurer Female, is this model right here. Which a lot of people are speculating like, hey, this is... Penny's daughter that is hinted to on the description of Penny on the Pokemon website. It says that he's a father and that he's protecting his daughter and obviously this looks like a character more our age, more the character's age inside of the Pokemon game. As you can see, she doesn't look really prepared for the Crown Tundra if you know what I mean. She's not dressed in like a winter jacket. She has a skirt on. Which is kind of throwing me off. Maybe we will see alternate costumes for her inside of the game. However, it's kind of weird because we haven't gotten that with anybody else. But maybe she's just going to be an NPC inside of a building or something like that. Not really out there in the wild wilderness getting her hands dirty. Maybe that may be the case. Nonetheless, she has a like school uniform on, jacket, little skirt, small shoes... No gloves, no facial coverings, just, you know, purple white hair with a blue band. And again, she kind of fits into that Penny's daughter look if you had to compare the two characters. He also found a version of what we're calling Vinchif without the glasses on and a basically female version. Maybe a character that is going to be alongside him or maybe, you know, just his wife or whatever who knows maybe just a totally different character unrelated to him inside of the crown tundra dlc again she is also fully decked out for the winter you see her big giant winter coat she has the boots on she has the hat covering her hair and all that 
there is a flower on her hair. We don't actually get to see the colors or none of that. But again, it is very interesting to note and to check out these models before we even know about these characters and their intentions. A lot of people are basically guessing and drawing the conclusion that this character right here with the glasses may be the bad guy of the Crown Tundra. Penny is going to be the good guy with his team trying to, you know, find the mystery about these legendary Pokemon. And this is going to be the bad guy trying to capture them and try to, you know, win off of this situation and capture the legendary Pokemon for himself or whatever the case may be. Who knows? Let me know what you think about these NPC models that have been data mined in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this all the time, every day, talking about the Pokemon games. Now that the DLC is released, we're going deep into the DLC. I have my Let's Play being uploaded. As soon as I can get them edited, the new videos will come out. And if you enjoy that type of content, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button, it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the video. Peace, I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one and let me know your thoughts cause this, this is kinda cool. I, I'm, I'm liking the way the Crown Tundra is kinda setting up, especially after the Isle of Armor. I'm enjoying it. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, Hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family. Ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos. As well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out. So we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred. You'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video. And the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.